with those toxic babes and a nice angle here can deny the plant when it comes in and then also will be caught in a crossfire with the castleberry keeping opened up as well lots of damage being done to hot and cold from a toxic canister iconic guns down bosco very first kill goes in favor of astralis talked about the positioning that astralis has right now inside a workshop and they have that long line of sight as well just outside the door in the lobby Waiting for SSG's next move. Hot and Cold took all that damage, but he managed to live through it. There's a finger boost to go out, and it aids Rampy onto a kill that gets Forest. DP fires down, shuttle's finished off. It's suddenly a 2v4. Jay and I know we'll have to burn a nitro cell to get back towards the bomb site as Hot and Cold successfully pulls off the diffuser. DP fire finished off. That's Fult stat padding. Down goes Iconic as well. And even though they got the first kill, they're going to get nothing after that. Phenomenal stuff by Space Station as they come back from that early deficit. Take control of the bombs, I get the diffuser planted, and also grab the first one. person with Bosco and hard support. I think we'll you know, round SSG very nicely this season. SSG weren't able to do it this time oh. around, but they get the opening pick. It's a bold move by Jane. I know gets shut down. Diffuser planted by Bosco. All hell breaks loose. And suddenly, Space Station have the advantage. Gone, though, is Bosco. Iconic follows. Still a 3v2 with Space Station now, 30 seconds left. Diffuser down, they just need to watch over top of it. It's DP Fire and Forest. Not necessarily two guns you want in this instance in the hands of either of these operators. DP Fire doesn't have a ton of intel. Position of Hot and Cold given away. They try to double up, but through the soft wall, the F2 just tears right through it. And DP Fire swings on the passport door. And that's all she wrote for him as well. Space Station, a commanding first round, followed up by a good second round, not as good as the first. <laughs> But Astralis still searching for their very first round victory. The last time we saw it in the comp pool, it still gets played out on this Vents Workshop defense very similarly. Bosco picked apart by Iconic. He's still racking up the kills. DP Fire gets one. The double oh. nade from Rampy. Down go DP Fire and Iconic. Suddenly it's Forest and Shuttle in a battle to the death with Skies and Rampy on the other side of Space Station. Not a single death between the two of these players. Skies breaks that trend. Nice shot from Forrest behind half wall. Policing those openings that have been created in the floor. Rampy makes his own with the sledgehammer. Looking for anybody or anything. Running out of time. But the two players from Astralis have retreated at this point. Seeking safe harbor down in the bomb site below. Holding on to the diffuser as well. Things will get very tough for Rampy. He's a talented player, but he has no information, and he's about to have no time. A drop is heard by the Astralis players, but they can just play keep away at this point. An explosion goes out, and he'll have to hunt for kills. He knows there's oh. one ramp. He gets it, Rampy. but he's a second away, and he doesn't get the other. My goodness, that came so close. Space Station, obviously, wanted that round. Astralis earned it, though. And are they going to try to pinch at the same time? I don't really have tons of information. Bosco's opened up that jail wall, and here he comes, but he doesn't see the head of Shuttle holding that tight angle. Hot and Cold walks into his own undoing. It's good patience, honestly. Waiting around this nade could do some damage, but C4 comes out and shuts the nade out, or shoves the nades out of Rambi's hand, Astralis and therefore... Neck. Yeah, and the downside of playing the Nook here is that you walk past the enemy camera trying to be sneaky with the gadget, now your teammates have to go up the staircase to take out that same camera that you walked by earlier on, and that leaves SSG, well, with odds against him, but working together, Bosco and Fools can maybe do something here. It's Shuttle up above on the hatch, but he can find the kill, just a bit of damage. That's where you need to be a little bit worried if you're Bosco, because when you get that diffuser down, it's the half HP of Fultz with a single adrenal surge to watch the three players from Astralis especially we know there's one above but heading into the washroom there's DP fire to clean him up nice and good and Bosco is the next one to go same hole that was created Astralis answers back they pick up their second round and we have a tie game that's important because they had two kills from it and they even the back selves in this round and now SSG have changed their entire attack towards of office intention to do harm Forrest wants in on the fun down goes Rampy Astralis looking for a third round in a row Again, it's hot and cold in skies. Working together, down goes the deployable shield and a stun goes in as well, some intel. Skies doesn't want that avenue, no sir. Instead of going through the office, it's back over towards this armory wall. There's some spam pings coming in as well. They know SSG's advance and they're caught on the doorway. A shotgun from Forrest will do so much damage. It does to hot and cold, but Skies continues to fire away. The rat -a -tat -tat of the LMG can't keep up with the two remaining players and Iconic has a lot to say about that. But you don't have a ton of time if you're Space Station. Gone 6 is out. Nice sound to go inside of Armory. Hot and cold not far off. There goes that nade. Forest just doesn't see the indicator. Space Station very much back in this, Nick. 
that they are, but Rambi single-handedly with these grenades doing so much work, so much damage. 9-2 and two scoreline now with 20 seconds of the Charlotte's. They gotta shut it down. And SSG has that top floor control, but they have to translate that to the floor below. Houghton with the diffuser in hand. If he drops, they will hear it. And the three remaining players from Astralis all know this. There you go. In the corner, is there a nitro cell to stop him? Nobody sees DP fire. Down goes hot and cold. Shuttles the one to do it. Rampy drops. He's got the kills, but that's it. No thrills. Four in a row for Astralis. They take the first half. <laughs> and I just, I, I'm sorry. Armory. Well, there's a fire arrow ready to go. Could have Skies' name on it. Waiting patiently, but there's a drop from the Capital. I do like the Capital pick, by the way. Another Certainly. LMG being brought into the fold. There were a couple times at the Six Invitational where you and I saw Capital, Zofia, and Finca all being brought for that same reason. Oh. Horus is in, by the way. Distraction. And look at this. J90 putting all of that ammunition to waste. Forrest gets no the diffuser way. down and manages to get out of there as Bosco gets punished by DP fire. Suddenly, Astralis, who did not have the best start to this round, they have found their footing and they found it fast. Firing away at hot and cold is J90. He's all the way out over top of the bus and he sees Rampy as well, taking a chunk of his HP away. That leaves Skies over by Armory. Not great as Rampy plays around. A nice shot. He's really feeling it. Evading the fire too, but the fire will continue onwards. DP Fire pushing in his own direction. That Rampy is down and now Skies will follow as Forrest has won hell of a round. And Astralis have won five rounds in a row. They have control of Lobby. Down goes a Nitro Cell. Lots of damage being done to Shuttle. Hot and cold gets absolutely pummeled by DP Fire. And a nice play through the window as the Castle Barricade gets broken open. Another one will fall on the double doors as well. Astralis taking out key pieces of this defense while Shuttle upstairs keeps the attention of one player of Space Station. Fultz gets the hop onto Iconic and then immediately pivots. Rampy finished off. There wasn't much more to go. Astralis still with the upper hand, but... They need to get that diffuser down. Forrest in the default plant spot, but Ooh. nobody's watching him. Bathroom control is still very much in favor of Space Station, and the coverage from Astralis is inadequate. That's the diffuser surrendered. Astralis will need to pick it up. Shuttle does so. Oh, Fultz is picking away at the diffuser, but can he get the plant down? Shuttle's so close, but no, oh, there we go as Astralis cleans up and kills. Who needs a damn diffuser when you got guns in your hands? Astralis on match point this round. It is a very consequential round for Space Station because it's match point for Astralis. They get the very first pick on to Astralis, though. Good news for Space Station fans, and they'll get another now, adding Shuttle to the tally, leaving that core of Astralis that we talked about before. Iconic DP Fire and J90. And they're going to have the tough task of vaulting in a window. They'll be exposed and vulnerable for a short period of time. The rest of Space Station seem quite intent to just stay nestled in this corner. Down goes Skies, an easy pick for DP Fire. Trying to bait one more out, and there's one playing by the doorway of servers. Oh. But he looks the wrong way. J90 taken out, hot and cold next to swing. That's Diffuser down. It's DP Fire actually to drop. J90 got out of there. He's up though, and Hot and Cold finishes him. It's iconic in a 1v4 before he gets dropped, going through the same rotate hole that had been SSG's undoing on that first half. Good in these positions before, but it's not going to be easy. Bait out the Jaeger of Rampy. That's a gunfight that not a lot of people want to actively take. And instead, it's Hot and Cold to come to his teammate's rescue. A flawless brewing right now for Space Station. But could it be one of those fabled long brews? It's J90 walking in, and he's met with a bullet to the head by Fultz. It's Forrest in a 1v5. Lots of munition before he reloads. Not really, actually. Not really Only 33. No. Wasted a lot, and they will do so flawlessly, even if Forrest still lives. Still two rounds away from Space Station, pushing us to overtime. Astralis are losing momentum. They're losing steam. And against a team like Space Station, you cannot let them back a in. A little game. bit grim. And there's Fultz to light up the feet of Shuttle. He's also a player who's really woken up. At one point, he was 1-5. and five. Down goes Forrest. An easy-to-control recoil of the T5 is too much for Astralis to handle. Now it's time for the Toxic Canister to come out. Another in the pocket of Bosco with just 20 seconds left. It's good coverage. Shuttle falls now as well as Fultz's kill actually comes through, leaving J90 outside to, again, potentially just waste time. Astralis have now conceded three rounds in a row, and you got to think that they will have to take a real timeout at this oh, point. yeah. As they haven't been able to talk to their coach a call-out whatsoever. 
Space Station looked a little bit lost in the early rounds, but now they have found what works for them and have very quickly closed the this gap. The patience, Nick. There's two of them up there, but he gets droned out and has to fall oh. off before Iconic shuts him down. A Nitro Cell from Skies on a beautiful fadeaway. But there's so much more work to be done from Space Station. It's just the two of them to hold up against this cosmic entity of Astralis looking for their second win of this stage and of the year as well. SSG will just simply ride this one out with a minute to go. Diffuser in the hands of Forrest, and even while he'll be vulnerable to plant it, that leaves the three players from Astralis up to watch, and that should be good enough. There's one Nitro Cell left from Bosco, but that's about it from this explosive potential. Everything else from SSG will have to come from their hands and from their rifles. Look at Astralis taking the time here, not rushing into this Phase first. Vertical droning trying to gain information there. Four drones left, three in pocket. Vertical damage is being wow. done. The kill does not get found and Skies lives on, but it's oh so close. Oh wow, and with 35 seconds left, the little that was left is now gone. Boss Goat, as they call him, for his clutch potential, but not today. DP Fire has other ideas, and Astralis pick up a massive victory over Space Station, breaking the hearts of SSG fans. Seven.